After years as an on-call substitute teacher, Patricia Farron decided to go back to school to become a full-fledged teacher. With her degree in hand, she returned to her alma mater, Vicente Beneventi Middle School in Dededo. After a while, I, you know, since it was already five years, I decided, okay, I'm ready to go to school. So I told my husband, get your money ready because I'm ready to go to school. I, I didn't feel any different other than the fact that, you know, um, I'm now expected to do my lesson plan. I'm not following anybody's lesson plans. As an eighth grade reading teacher, she instills the love of books in her classroom. Every quarter, students are assigned to read something new and share the story with their classmates. If their friends are interested in, in what this particular student has read, they might pick up the book. So it's sh sharing your, your um, you know, what you've read to be able to hook another student into that. Although she works to keep her shelves stocked, she admits books fly off the shelves. If it's in their hands, it's okay. I would re, you know, I would pick up a new uh, set later on in the year, so that you know, I know that those books are, are in the hands of students that they want to, they want to read, and they also will let me know that um, they still have it, but they want to. Um, bring it back after the sister reads it. So again, it also gets the parents or the sister's brothers interested in it. Reality that she's been educating for the last 28 years kicks in when students say their moms and dads were her students too. The students that I have now, their parents were my students uh, we, you know, in, when they were uh, students. And uh, the students that come into this year, you know, goes, my mom knows you. What's your mom's name? And they will tell me, and I say, I just need to see the face. And sure enough, I, you know, I do, because then they said you're the, the teacher that always wears purple. Reflecting on her career, she's proud to be a teacher changing lives one student at a time. When a student comes up to me and says, Miss, I listened to what you said, and now I am putting more effort into staying in school, and I, you know, I want to learn because you're right. Whatever you were teaching, you know, if I don't learn it, it's going to get harder. 